leads us into our fact-checking segment, Truth or Fake, for which I'm joined today by Vedika Bahel. Uh, Vedika, uh, thanks for joining us. We've been looking at some of the images being shared by uh, both the Israelis and the Iranians following this uh, escalation in the conflict. Um, and you found some inconsistencies. Tell us more. Yes, Tom, that's right. We found some major inconsistencies in the images shared by the official authorities of both sides of this conflict. So let's start uh, with Iran. This is a screenshot from uh, Iranian state media, uh, along with a video that they claim uh, shows a successful uh, missile explosion on Israeli uh, soil. Now, it is difficult to see uh, or have any identifiers from that video clearly, but it is a very chaotic one. We can see a lot of smoke, uh, fire raging on in the background uh, as Iran continues to claim that this is a video of the destruction caused. Um, now, they even went as far as to share these same images across their different uh, arms of uh, Iran state media, including their Spanish uh, language arm, if you didn't know, Iran uh, state uh, broadcaster also has a Spanish language channel called High Span TV. So they too shared uh, these pictures as far uh, as that social media account as well. However, I found that same video that we saw there of that fire raging published months before this attack on Israel even took place. Here it is uh, posted by a Chile Chilean media account. This we can see it was posted back February 4th, 2024. Uh, they, they posted this uh, linked to the uh, wildfires that raged and ravaged parts uh, of the country back in February. Um, and interestingly, this video has since, Tom, been deleted from the Spanish language arm as well on their official accounts. OK, you said that there were inconsistencies or out of context images uh, on both sides. So what have you got from the Israeli side? Yes, well, Israel's official military account, the IDF, shared this video compilation uh, of missiles following the attack. In that post there, we can see it uh, captioned, Israel's reality uh, in the aftermath. Now, many of these uh, are user-generated videos of the missile attack, and most of these have been uh, verified as being part of Iran's attack. However, there is one inconsistency at the end. Now, this last clip there of this massive barrage of missiles going off, plumes of orange smoke, titled with the caption, uh, this attack shows Iran's two colors. Now, this clip isn't linked to Israel, nor is it linked to Iran. In fact, it's been around for 10 years, uh, going as far back as uh, 2014 on the internet. Now, we can see here uh, in this post, this is from 2014, November uh, 30th, 2014, that same, uh, that same shot there posted by Conflict News, linking it to a uh, Ukrainian uh, strike against separatists in eastern Ukraine. Now, I also found a video of that same, uh, that, that same exact shot that we saw in that IDF video. I also found it here in this YouTube video. This was published a few years later in 2017, uh, and it was linked this time to Russia. Uh, but in either case, this isn't Israel, nor is it Iran. It is extremely dated footage uh, and out of context. So being posted from the official IDF account there is extremely misleading, Tom. OK, so if we've got Israel and Iran sharing uh, different versions of what happened uh, during those Iranian missile strikes of Saturday night, I mean, can you give us a sort of a sense of what the two narratives are that have been created here, Vedika? Yes, that's right. Well, very different narratives are being shared here uh, by both parties in this conflict. According to Israel's military, the Iran, uh, Iran's April 13th uh, attack consisted of at least 120 uh, ballistic missiles, 170 uh, drones, and more than 30 Iranian cruise missiles. This is published by their official IDF forces as well. But it says that thanks to its Iron Dome defense system, it was able to intercept around 99% uh, of those threats there. Now, at the same time, it has been reported that some of those missiles did make its way uh, into Ukraine. Now, there was an American source who spoke to uh, US media, uh, ABC media, who said that at least nine Iranian missiles managed to breach Israel's air defense and struck two air bases, the air bases of Nevatim uh, and the air base of Ramon. This was actually backed up by Israeli military uh, on their side as well, who also published uh, these images. We can see a crater there, uh, and they uh, fact-checked that, that it was, in fact, linked to Iran's uh, attack. So though Israel insists that it was very much minor damage and that it's coming away unscathed, uh, there are some uh, images that they too have uh, fact-checked there. Now, as I said, Israel is very much putting this that it is, uh, it is minor damage, it's coming away unscathed, but on the Iranian side, they are very much saying that it was a success. As we showed earlier, their state media here, um, they, their headlines were that it achieved all of its objectives. And following that attack as well, this was the headline the next day, 
on the Tehran Times saying clean victory uh, right there front and center. But it does seem that both Iran and Israel are very much strong arming the other uh, for who is more successful in this case. But this just reinforces the importance uh, of fact checking in these times, Tom. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Vedika Bahal with today's edition of Truth or Fake. Thank you very much indeed.